Hi guys. So today is a Stitch Fix day. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. Um, I do unboxings and I do shopping hauls um, and little bits of other things. Not so much of the other things at the moment because I'm really very busy, but um, if you like the kind of thing that I do, then please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So it's Stitch Fix. As you know, let's run through the rules. You pay £10 and they curate a box for you of five items. You get to try them on at home. If you keep something, they take the £10 off that item. If you keep everything, they give you a discount of, I think it's 15%, it could be 20, I'll check. Um, you don't have to have it every month. It's not something you sign up for and you know that's you forever. Uh, you can have one a year, two a year, or every month like I do. I don't have that much success with Stitch Fix. I, what I have had, the odd thing, and it is odd, the odd thing, I've loved, so it's worth it to me to keep trying. Would I keep trying if I didn't have a channel and I didn't have friends to show it to and have a bit of a laugh with? I don't know if I would, but I'm still going. <laughs> so inside the box, you get an envelope. Everything's fallen out of mine. In it, you get a postage paid returns label. You just take it to the post office. It's the easiest thing in the world. That is one brilliant thing about them. Uh, you get something about an app. You get your oh hello, which is the information about the things, and you get your thanks for letting us style you, and this is the prices. I don't look at the prices because the prices do affect me. And I wanna know if I really like something first. And then inside this, you have pictures of what they've sent you and how they suggest you style them. And a message from your stylist. I haven't been doing very well. Oh, this is a different stylist, this one. I was having Emily. This is somebody called Chelsea, I think. Yeah, Chelsea. Hi, Vaughan. Welcome back to your 18th fix. My name is Chelsea and I'm excited to be styling you today. Thank you for taking the time to review your fix preview and leave me some feedback. Emily was not available to style you today, but I hope I was able to give you some options that you will be excited to try. Then she lists all the things and how she thinks you should wear them, what she was imagining. And then she said, I hope you like your fix. Cheers, Chelsea. So let's have a look. Oh, it's a little bundle. Look at that, great big box. Look at the size of the box. <laughs> There's this little bundle in it, but I don't mind small things, you know. Was it they say? Great things come in small packages, so maybe. And I've never had Chelsea before, so this will be interesting. So first is a bit of olive green. Now you know I like olive green. This is a shirt by Market and Spruce. Hmm, it's quite nice. It's a bit. It's a utility shirt, I would say, with the the breast pocket. Long sleeves that can be rolled up. There is a button on them to roll them up. It's quite a heavy, I don't know if that's a cotton. It's like a very light canvas, canvas cotton. Let's have a look. Is there any stretch? Oh, it's quite a lot of stretch in it. Um, what fabric is this? Oh, it is. It's 98% cotton, 2% spandex. So it's a nice, you know, nice materials. Um, yeah, I'll have a look. I'm not sure where it would go in my wardrobe though, but I'll have a look. Then I've got a pair of trousers, I would think. Yes, a pair of, I think they're culottes. Wide leg in a sort of a cottony cheesecloth fabric. I can actually see light through these trousers. <laughs> I'm hoping you don't see anything awful. Um, these are, yes, by Inwear from Copenhagen. I didn't know that was, oh, I didn't give you a size, did I, on the green shirt? Let me go back. That's an extra large. Um, and these from Inwear are a 42. Okay. They probably won't fit. You'll all know I've got the biggest waist in the history of the world. But there you go. Um, yeah, they're worth a try. They're definitely the sort of thing I like and look for. Then we have, what is this? Uh, what is this? Is it a skirt or a dress? It's a, oh, a dress. It's a wrap dress that's why i couldn't figure it out it was opening out because it's undone it's a wrap dress it's by a company called part two of copenhagen the sizing is a 44 it's called the claire dress that is kind of pretty i am very wary of wraps you know i just bought one in premark didn't i in those soft pinks because they can be a bit of an issue um 
but I do like the pattern on that. I like that it's black with little flowers, but true wraps can sometimes be a bit of an issue here. You know, the chestola. Then, oh, no, I don't like this straight away. This is very nylon-y feeling. Uh, it's by Morvette. It's very pretty colours. It's a blouse. It's high necked. Sometimes I get away with high neck when they've got a pattern, so maybe it won't be too bad. It's got pretty frill on the sleeve. Yeah, high neck. But it's a viscose, I would say. This is a Morvette, and it's an 18. Let me have a quick look and see what the fabric is. Someone was asking me about fabrics the other day and I thought I used to tell you and then I got out of the habit. So this one is, hmm, let me see, made in Romania. Viscose, 100% viscose, it's, it's okay. It's not setting my heart on fire, but it's okay. And then, oh, and I think that dress, the dress was cotton. <laughs> I don't think I told you. And then last but not least is, oh, another dress quite cute leopard print by itchy that's quite cute it is high net lots of lovely stretch in it which i do like short sleeves elasticated waist pockets no no pockets that would have been a bit much wouldn't it but that's very nice i do like that that's by itchy and that's an xl so there we go they're not bad you know considering this little girl chelsea has never starved i'm saying little girl how pejorative she could be ancient why do we always think of really oh well why do i always think of really young people as being stylists anyway they're not bad things i am happy to try these and i can see where she was going the black trousers with the electric blue shirt you know that kind of thing so that's quite an exciting box so let's see what fits what doesn't and how much are they <laughs> So here we go, outfit number one, <laughs> where to start? I've got the trousers on, it was a heft, I have to say, but they're not that bad. I've worn worse, I've had worse, but they are too tight over my lap buddy. My lap buddy is complaining like the video because it's being compressed, but they are a nice trouser. I would need to go up a size for comfort, I think. I like the length on them. I like the turn-ups on the, on the bottoms of the legs. I hope you can see that. But they are too tight around here for my body. But they're a nice, you know, they're nice enough. The shirt, I have the same problem, as you can see. I am still raining over the boobies. But it is comfortable. <laughs> if it looked tidy, I would be in love with this. Because the stretch in this shirt has made it so, so comfortable. And it's also a shirt that would lend itself to being a jacket all day long. I mean, you just undo that. You can imagine it would look just like a jacket. I really like this. So again, but I don't know if one's going up one size would be enough because there is a lot of pulling here. There is not a lot of room. I'll turn around because I'm sure it's, I feel a bit like a sausage in a skin. But it's the most comfortable flipping skin I've ever worn. So if you're slimmer, less lumps and bumps. This shirt is a brilliant shirt because, if, as I say, if it fitted, it would be nice to wear oops, as a shirt, but also it could be worn as a jacket. So it's a two for two items in one. So I kept the trousers on to try this shirt. What can I say? <laughs> I really like it. But it, again, it's too snug. If these two pieces were one size up, I think I might have been in love. I like the sleeves. I like this sort of, can you see how pretty that is here? Even though it's high necked, and you know I'm not a lover of that, it feels nice. It feels really, and I could see that this would be a really stylish outfit, but up a size, so I don't know. Well, I doubt they even do them in my size if I've got to go up a size. But it's just, I mean, it fits, but it's just that little bit too snug across here. It makes me feel like my chest is very pronounced. I feel like this should have a little bit more flow to it. And, you know, it's the same with the trousers. They're on, they're comfortable. But as you can see, they're outlining things a little bit more than I would like. But I do think, stunning outfit, thumbs up to Chelsea because... Her styling hat was on. I'm not bothering to do this up properly because it's always a wrestle to do wraps up. You know, you've got to stuff the strings through the ones. 
as you can see, this is about four sizes too small for my chest. So I won't be keeping it on for long. I'm sure it would look beautiful on someone else. Someone half my size. I love the sleeves. I can't let go of my chest, ladies. I love the sleeves. It's cotton. I really like the pattern and I think the length is good. I sort of think the length is good. But I do it honestly. I don't know. They said this was, I think, extra large. Um, this must be a European one because we all know a European extra large is a sort of, what would I say, large 14, small 16. And I am not either of those because this is not even coming close to covering my tartars. What a frightening sight, ladies. Sorry. And from one that doesn't work to one that does. I really like this. It doesn't have pockets, which for me is... I always feel that these really, really simple jersey dresses should have pockets. I feel like it's the easiest thing in the world for them to make. Why won't they put a bit more effort in? But I like the pattern, the kind of leopardy animal print thing. Love where the sleeves are and I love that they're nice and loose. So they're not tight across the arm or anything like that. So if arms are an issue for you, there is a heck of a lot of space in there. I do have big arms, but they're not the biggest my issues are here <laughs> so yeah if arms are an issue this is great it's really comfortable it is high necks but i think because of the pattern it's not as bad elasticated waist you could go all day in this you know what i mean if you're out for the day you wouldn't be feeling constrained <laughs> if i turn around i think the length of it is just nice i think you know it's just above the knee just above the knee um and I mean, if your boobs weren't quite so big, it wouldn't even be that. I think this is lovely. This is a really, really, thank goodness I've got something that fits and something that I like. I've had itchy things before. Um, yeah, I really like this, but it does depend on the price because I do think that this style of thing, all the shops are doing it and the cheaper shops are doing it too. So yeah, it's gonna have to be a good price because doesn't have the pockets and as I say it is mega simple but I'm just so glad that something fitted and if I had to go out right now and I could only wear something from that box this is what I'd wear <laughs> okay so here we go let's do the prices that was not the greatest try on I've ever had but at least it was one thing that I did and I do like it so it is very price dependent on that but um I can tell that this was a new stylist because she hasn't realized to stay away if she can from the um, European design lines or at least go up in them because they're extra large as we all know is not our extra large and I need an extra large <laughs> okay so first up was the Morvet blouse it's called Fiona it's a flute sleeve shell top I thought this was really nice I have to be honest I don't know if it's my color electric blue I'm not sure I think I go more towards warmer colors but I do really like it this was in an 18 so it fitted but I would have liked it a bit bigger for yeah just for my modesty um, and that's 38 pounds um it's not 38 pounds it isn't Marks and Spencers would do something like very similar to this, you know, in their Peruna range or something, and it wouldn't be £38. Next is the market in Spruce. This is Olive. It's an extra large, and it's £42. I don't know where they're getting these prices from. £42. Um, you know, I just bought, well, you can see it actually behind me. I just bought the pink and white striped shirt and that was 1995 or 1950 in Marks and Spencers and the quality is amazing. Would have paid 42 for this. No, I wouldn't. So I won't be asking for an exchange on it. Um, you know, even if it did come bigger, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I, yeah, 42, no. Right, oh, the dress that I did like. Now this is the Itchy, it's called the Lisa Printed Short Sleeve Dress in tan. This is an extra large. Um, I think it must be a UK extra large. Um, and it's 39.99, so 40 pounds. Is it, it's not 40 pounds, is it ladies? It really isn't. Much as I really like it, 
and I do, I really like it. No, I wouldn't pay for, oh, I'm being a meanie, aren't I? I wouldn't, I really wouldn't. A dress, a t-shirt dress as simple as this. No pockets, high neck, you know. Oh, I wouldn't pay above about 20 pounds, 25. So 40 is a no for me, which is a shame because it was the one thing that fitted and I felt good in. But we'll crack on. So next up is the culottes. Now, I liked these a lot. Um, and if I could go up a size, which I would imagine I could, I'm, I'm going to have to look on the channel. Uh, they're called Inwear Dreeza Culotte Black, size 42. <laughs> they're £79. <laughs> 79.95 for cotton linenish black culottes. <laughs> oh, don't, honestly, this is not a knocking them channel. I don't mean to be, but 80 pounds. They're not even. Oh, they're not even though. They're not 80 pounds. If anyone is paying £80 for these, please let me know because I just, no, I just can't imagine paying that for a pair of, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I won't be asking for them to size them up. And then the dress, which, you know, what size was this one? This was a 44. That was, I have a 40 inch chest. Okay, ladies, I've got a big back <laughs> as well as a big front. I always joke that if I've got the wrong bra on, it looks like I've got boobs on my back as well as my front. I am a 40 inch chest. This is a 44 and wasn't going near covering my boobs. So the sizing on this is massively off. It's by a company called Part 2 of Copenhagen. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's called the Claire Dress. I can't get away with that's 44. There's no way that's 44. Um, it's in black and it's 89 pounds and 95, 89.95 for a cotton wrap dress. I mean, I just bought that cotton wrap dress at Primark. For, what was it, like 15 pounds? 89.95. <laughs> oh, bless. Chelsea has tried really hard, love her. But she doesn't know yet that A, I have an odd bod. And B, I'm a little bit more cautious with my pennies than that. Um, anyway, the order came to £289.89p. And the buy all discount is 20%. So that would have taken £57.98 off. Um, then, of course, it would have taken my £10 styling fee off. So it would have cost me £221.91 pence uh even with even with 20 percent off this that's still way too expensive i mean what's 20 percent 20 percent off and 90 quid is 18 so that means that dress would have been 72 pounds i would not pay 72 pounds for a cotton wrap dress that i can buy an apps you know it's the same yes different colorway but it's the same dress well, I could get it for £15 in free mark. So, um, yeah, this was a bust. This was a massive bust. This was a naught out of five. <laughs> oh, well. Sometimes I do well. Not so much with this one. I'm having trouble with Lakiro again. You know they have this crazy... Um, oh, those of you that do Lakiro will know that you they have drop-off points. It's DHL, I think, or DP... No, DPD. DPD. So you've got to find some drop-off point that, you know, it's not the post office, let's put it that way. Um, and the last two times, the parcels have gone missing. Now, thankfully, I have kept my little proof of postage red label, and I've been able to take photographs and, and you know, send that through to them. And they have accepted and believed me that I put them in the post. But because there's been two now, um, they've been very reluctant to send me a third. <laughs> I can't blame them if they're not getting the things back, but at the same time, that's not my fault. So um, I have spoken to them, they are sending me one, which I should be getting in the next few days. Um, yeah, hopefully the next few days, because I always do better with Likiro. 
Um, and I'm going to use a different drop off point because there must be something weird going on. But it's not my fault. And if they're going to use DPD and send us all around the countryside looking for little news agents that happen to do it, you know, that is their risk, not mine. So, oh, look at me. I'm really militant today. <laughs> As you know, probably by now, I don't know whether I've said, I tend to repeat myself a lot in these videos. I do have my operation day, which is the 20th of this month. So about a fortnight away. Um, that's only because my husband has private health insurance with his job. If I was on the NHS, I mean, I just don't know, because I know that the NHS is really struggling to catch up. Um, I've never used it before, never used the private health insurance, never needed to. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm th thrilled, thrilled that I can get it done because I've had a few bad nights. Last night was a particularly bad one. I'm really bad with the um, with the stomach. I'm feeling a bit fragile this morning, a bit like shaky, fragile. You know, not um, not like I feel sick, but like when you're really short of sleep and you feel sort of slightly jittery. I feel like that today. Um, so I am thrilled that I'm going to get it done, but at the same time, I'm petrified. I'm petrified. I've never had to have very many medical procedures. I mean, my hysterectomy was the only other one I can remember. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about the whole thing. Uh, but here we go. I, you know, I'm going to be marvellous afterwards. And you guys are all sending me messages saying you had yours out and it was brilliant. You had yours out. It was great. And um, so I'm, I'm clinging on to that. But I am very nervous. Anyway, I've gone off. I've, I've ranted. I've wandered. Sorry, ladies. That was Stitch Fix. It was a, a big zero for me this month, um, but I hope you're well. And I hope if you're getting a stitch fix, you're getting nicer things. Maybe if I was slimmer, maybe I'd get more choice. I don't know. I would love to know. I would love to be able to communicate properly with my um, stylist and say, is this an issue for you? Oh, and I've just noticed I've chipped my nail polish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm off. Bye, guys.